Hey, what's up, guys? So, in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Kanye West and, in particular, how I think black people need to step up and protect and defend and unite with this man. So, before I get into it, I'm just going to briefly touch on what I've heard in the past uh, when I've addressed other cultures, other races, other uh, religions, whereas people have told me that I have no right to speak on these things. So for any of you who feel that way, don't watch this video. Stay off my channel because I will speak freely. I will always do so. And this is not for you. Okay. So aside from that, um, what's been happening to this man is, is really sad. It's really a shame. Um, I'm, I'm a, such a firm proponent of free speech and so against cancel culture and everything that's been happening to him. I'm amazed that black people aren't stepping up and standing with this man. I'm amazed at how many have sold out for money or for comforts of whatever shit they have that they don't want to lose. People need to realize, black people in particular, that this is one of the best out there among you. This is one of your best, one of your own, and a leader who should be held in high regard. This man is speaking truths. No matter how fucking offensive they may be to some, this is the fucking truth. The things that he, he is saying are true. I hate to break it to you, but that's the truth. And he's being destroyed for it. He's being vilified. He's being massacred. He's been decimated financially. Black people have the power to make him whole, to change this whole thing and put a stop to this to ensure that it doesn't happen to him or any others again. It's so easy. I don't know why you don't see all the power you have collectively. You can come together, stop buying these fucking brands, okay? The, but the best way is in using other famous black people, athletes, actors, musicians, entertainers of any kind. You dominate in, ath in athletics alone. That by itself, just stop playing games. Stop playing baseball. Stop playing basketball. Stop playing football. Refuse. Just stop. Stop making music. Stop putting on performances. Stop acting. All these things collectively come together and just say, we're not doing it anymore. We're, we're protesting. Make this man whole again. Give him back what's been taken from him. That's how you get things done. Do you, can you imagine the power behind a movement like that? A collective movement like that? Watch how fast these same controllers respond and react in fear and do what they have to to restore him. Watch how fast they backtrack off of all this pressure they've been putting on him to blacklist him like this. Because the truth is, those sports, those entertainers, the musicians, it's all just a fucking distraction. These people are using you. They're using you as a distraction to keep the po mainstream population dumbed down and oblivious to what's really happening out there in the world, to how their, their money and their country, their freedoms are being fucking destroyed. Watch how fast they will react if you stop those distractions. So my advice is don't choose money over loyalty. Protect your own people. Stand with your own. Realize the fucking power that you have together. It's wrong that this man has to stand alone and be destroyed the way he is. Others need to step up. Show loyalty. Strength together in numbers is always going to defeat one man standing alone. So I support what he's doing. I may not know the guy personally. We may not get along in life. If we did, I think we should. We probably would. But whether we agree or get along or not, in this particular case, he's being attacked and he's being destroyed for his thoughts and the freedoms that he has as a man to have an opinion and to state what his reality is. No one should be destroyed for that. No one should be attacked the way he has been for that. This cancel culture bullshit is garbage. It's leading us down a very dangerous path to where we're all fucking controlled and dominated. And I really believe 
that this advice I'm giving is valid and it's the right thing. Black people, step up, take care of your own and protect and make this man Kanye West whole again. Don't be afraid. Don't be a lover of money. Pick your loyalty. Learn when you need to step up and have courage and show that courage. Be an example to the rest. There's so many out there with influence. This can be done very easily, and I believe it should be. And I will stand with this man anytime, and any others as well who are speaking their truths, who are trying to do right, who are promoting right and promoting God, I will stand with them as well. I hope you guys got something good out of this. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.